Maltese Shih Tzu is more than just a type of low shedding breed. It's an intelligent, active and beautiful type of breed that would do anything to please its family. Do you consider purchasing a Maltese Shih Tzu? In this video you will learn everything about the breed based on 8 topics. So you can find out if this dog is best for you. Number 1. Origin the Maltese Shih Tzu is a hybrid breed that was developed in the 1990s with the purpose of creating a low shedding companion dog. The two breeds used in the crossbreeding process are Maltese and Shih Tzu. This dog's name is a simple combination of the names of the two breeds used in the crossbreeding. Contrary to other hybrid breeds, this breed didn't need a unique cute name to become very popular. The Maltese Shih Tzu has gained a lot of popularity in Australia, North America and other countries. Its origin makes it the perfect breed for an owner who is looking for the most loving companion. Number 2. Personality The Maltese Shih Tzu is an extremely intelligent type of breed that can easily adapt to any environment. Most of the Maltese Shih Tzus are active and outgoing that are always ready for an outdoor adventure. However, they occasionally like sitting still and enjoying some peaceful time. The most endearing thing for this breed is their family. Receiving love and affection from their owner is extremely important for a Maltese Shih Tzu. They can become really sensitive if they are ignored for a long time. Its temperament depends on many factors, such as training or socialization. If they are trained properly from an early age, they are well behaved. A Maltese Shih Tzu is also very curious and likes to meet new people. So when you are walking your Maltese Shih Tzu at the park near your place, expect it to approach strangers out of nowhere. Number 3. Appearance A Maltese Shih Tzu might look like one of its parent breeds, but it doesn't usually have the Shih Tzu's short nose and bulging eyes. When compared to an average dog size, the Maltese Shih Tzu is relatively small. Although its body and head are relatively small, they are quite proportional. Its coat is usually long and can be either straight or wavy. Its coat comes in a variety of colours, but it usually comes in white, black or brown colour. Its coat can also be a combination of colours, like white and black or brown and black. The coat of this dog is what makes many people fall in love with. The Maltese Shih Tzu can grow up to 10 inches, which is 25.4 centimeters, and weigh up to 12 pounds, which is 5.4 kilograms. Number 4. Trainability their intelligent mind enables them to have a trainable nature. A multi Shih Tzu is very easy to train. This type of breed immediately forms a connection between the word sit and the action sitting, while some other breeds may need a lot of time. The multi Shih Tzu doesn't approach training with a what's in it for me attitude, and it doesn't need treats and rewards all the time to learn new skills. Although it learns quickly, this doesn't mean that it doesn't need proper training as it has the tendency to play bite, which makes them bite and hold their family's hand, they need to be taught to bite toys, but not people. It can also be aggressive towards other pets, and as such, socialization is very important for your Maltese Shih Tzu. If you want to learn more about dog brain training and training methods, check out the description. Number 5. Time Investment Although a Maltese Shih Tzu is active, this doesn't mean that it needs a lot of exercise per day. This type of breed is also fine with sitting still for a long time. As such, you don't need to dedicate too much time to giving your dog the exercises it needs. It usually takes 15 minutes a day for it to have the exercises it needs. A walk around the neighborhood would be just fine for your Maltese Shih Tzu. If you can't take your dog on a walk, then make sure it has some space and toys that it can play with. Another thing to consider when taking care of your Maltese Shih Tzu is feeding. It's recommended that it has a daily amount of half a cup of high quality dry food a day divided into two meals. It's important to look after its feeding to make sure it stays in good shape. Since it was bred to shed less, its coat doesn't require much work, but you must make sure that you brush its teeth at least two or three times a week. Its ears should also be weekly checked for any possible infection. Number 6. Best Home The Maltese Shih Tzu would do anything to please its family, and as such it's great for families with children. Considering the fact that it's a small dog who isn't aggressive towards people, it's a perfect fit for a family with small children. It adapts very well to apartment life as it's not a breed who is hyperactive and wants to constantly move around. 
If it has some toys to play with, an apartment can be great for it. Although it can do well in an apartment, a home with a big yard is ideal for it. This is because it has more space to play around with its family, which it considers the ultimate way of showing love. It tolerates being alone to a certain extent, but not for a very long time. It's friendly towards other pets, only if it's properly socialized. Number 7. Health Maltese Shih Tzus are usually very healthy, but like all other breeds, they are prone to certain diseases. Not all Maltese Shih Tzus will get any or all of these diseases, but it's important to be aware of them if you're considering this breed. If you're buying a puppy, find a good breeder who will show you health clearances for both your puppy's parents. Before bringing it home, find out whether it's first generation, and if he is, then research all the health concerns that occur in both the Maltese and the Shih Tzu. Some of the health issues to expect from a Maltese Shih Tzu are slipped stifle and white shaker syndrome. It is important that before you purchase a Maltese Shih Tzu, you have it checked whether it's affected by those two diseases. The Maltese Shih Tzu's life expectancy generally ranges anywhere from 12 to 14 years. Number 8. Costs the average price for a Maltese Shih Tzu puppy will be somewhere around $2,000. If you're looking for a specific look or a puppy with the highest quality and even show quality, you can budget anywhere between $700 and $3,000. So what do you think about the Maltese Shih Tzu? Let us know in the comments and share your experience with other interested dog owners. And if you found this video helpful, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. Thank you so much much for watching.